tenants from the first floor came up to the second at one around one o'clock in the morning, banging on the door. The house was on fire, get out and reopen the bedroom door. There was so much smoke, we couldn't see anything. We had to feel our way around, go to the back of the house, smash out a window and get out through the back. The owner went to the third roof, smashed out some windows for the two gentlemen on the, on the third floor, screamed for them, but there was no answer by already. There was no, they were already either order, overcome by smoke or, or heat. There was no answer whatsoever, so they didn't make it out. And there was a misunderstanding, I guess, about who was supposed to get the boys out, and the boys didn't make it out either. I thought the father was, was, had, had them. He thought we had them. By the time we realized they were still in there, the house was engulfed in flames. The flames were shooting out the windows. It was impossible to go back in. Couldn't help anybody. It's what's bothered me the most. The helplessness? Couldn't get anybody out that didn't make it out. I think everybody should have got out.